Hey guys, it's June I'm in here and you guys know that I have recently gone on vacation and during vacation the resort that we were staying at had a haunted house tour and you know me, I wanted to go, so me and my family went and I'm gonna tell you guys some stories, but quick before I tell you the stories, I'm gonna show you a picture right about now. Spooky. Anyways, um I know, it, it probably scared you a lot to look at it. So, oh yeah, um, in the picture, uh, in, right in front of the front door, there's like a shadow thing that's either the tour guide, the person who's going to be guiding us through the haunted house, and, uh, or it's his shadow. So, everything aside, I'm going to tell you guys some stories of the Haunted Manor, because I have about... <sighs> Alright, uh, like five. I have five stories that I want to tell you. Uh, wait, no. I have four stories. Never mind. Um, okay. So, quick before I get into the stories. Um... Oh god, I was going to say something. Oh yeah. Uh, I just forgot what I was going to say again. Hold on. Okay, so I just remembered. So, the guy was a ghost hunter, and he was also our tour guide for the night. And he gave us a tour, and then afterwards, we could have stayed or left. And my family decided to stay, because we would have been able to hunt ghosts with equipment that he let people borrow for the, for the night. So, that's what we did. And so, I'm going to tell you the first story now. There's four I want to tell you in total. I'm going to tell you the first one now. So, let me get my list out. Okay, so the first one is Staircase Ghost Story. So, there was a staircase leading up to the second floor, and then there was a little central area that did that then had a bunch of doorways that would lead to various rooms, and there was like a tiny, tiny hallway that had a bathroom and then another room that we weren't actually supposed to go in but we were allowed to go to the bathroom because there was supposedly a little girl called Mary in there. I tried talking to her but it didn't really work. That's that we're not gonna talk about her for the rest of the video. But so the staircase ghost story. Um I was right at the rails and I had dowsing rods on me. And if you know how those work, they point to the direction of a spirit and if you're close to a spirit they will cross. So um I was standing behind I was standing in front of the one of the rail I was standing in front of the rails and there was a staircase there. And like my dowsing rods pointed to a certain part of the staircase and I was like, okay, no weird, maybe there's a ghost there or something. And then they started pointing in the direction of leading up to the staircase. And you cannot tell me that that is a coincidence, because they went slowly, but surely, to the staircase. Like, up it. Like, like someone was either slowly walking or stumbling or crawling up the staircase. Something was going up the staircase. And it was so perfectly, like, it was so perfectly done. Like, in, in the perfect direction of someone going up the staircase. Like, if they s were slowly walking up. And they stopped at the top of the staircase so I walked over there and the rods crossed and there if you go up the staircase in the manor I'm saying staircase a lot if you go up the staircase in the manor and you turn right there's a room so I went to that room and there are people in that room talking about how um they their like meters were going off how their dowsing rods were crossing and I and I said yeah some I think something just came up the stairs and they were like yeah our dowsing rods and meters are going off and then, so they leave the room and I'm just standing there with my dowsing rods 
and they're crossing. They've been crossing like the entire time I've been in the room. From the moment I was looking at the room from the outside and from the moment I went in and then whenever I left whenever I turned away and left, they uncrossed. That was no coincidence. That can't be a coincidence at all. But next story this is actually my mom's story so she was downstairs in an office room you know how some like big houses have man <clears throat> how some big houses have offices like small office rooms in there so my mom went into an office room that's downstairs and she pointed she had a meter she, she had one of those like ghost meters that would detect ghosts so she had one of those and she pointed it towards like the chair and the desk and it just spiked and she told me about it and at the time I had a spirit box on me so I went down there I tried communicating with the spirit I sat in the chair I got nothing by the way I didn't get a single thing out of the spirit box but this next one um this next one I'm gonna tell you I I got something out of spirit box, but it probably wasn't a spirit. So it's this one has two stars. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. So this actually, this these two stories are actually about my brother. So my brother. Um, we were in this. You remember how in the first story I told you about the central area and at the top of the stairs. So we were in that central area. And I was sitting on a bench that was in there. And his da he I had a spirit box and he had dowsing rods and apparently his dowsing rods just pointed towards me and later on he told me that he tried to get the dowsing rods to point towards me and they did anyways and then so back to whenever they first pointed towards me um so he tried to get them point towards me and they did. And he was a little blabbergasted about it. And so he turned away. They were still pointing towards me. He turned back. They were still pointing towards me. He walked closer. They were still pointing towards me. And I'm pretty sure they also crossed a little bit. And then later on, he. I was in this dining room sitting down. And. Um, I was trying to communicate with ghosts and with the spirit box and this is like a little bit after that a little bit after the rods pointing towards me so I was I was sitting down trying to communicate with ghosts with the spirit box and I heard my brother's voice the spirit box goes through like four like four different radio stations per second and sometimes you can hear like something from the radio pop out and it was like spot on my brother's voice like spot on most likely a coincidence most likely not maybe it has something to do with dowsing rods maybe it doesn't we will see in the future but um next one so while we were going through the tour with the ghost hunter he was giving us the tour and everything and um he told us how like uh they were the people who lived in the house like the father was some kind of policeman and he was keeping someone in the basement so you know what oh okay and he told us a story of how someone experienced that person in the basement but um, while we were walking around the back of the house, there were some windows leading into the basement, and there was, like, this refrigerator, and this little, like, coffee table, I think it was, and I looked into the windows to see if I could spy anything, and I'm getting the goosebumps just telling the story right now, I swear to God, I saw a shadow of a man, well, it was, like, a small shadow, but it zoomed across the top of the refrigerator like the front top of the refrigerator and I was like oh my god I'm literally getting goosebumps just talking about it right now um 
yeah. And later on, I told the tour guide about it, and he was like, it's not impossible. Maybe you did. Maybe you were just saying things, but it's not impossible, kid. So, yeah, that's the... That's the video. That's uh, some stuff that happened during my vacation. I'm going to roll the outro in 3, 2, 1.